There are several ways of performing DMEX surgery, but these can be broadly defined into two groups. One is what we consider to be an endothelial out procedure. An alternative approach is what we call the endothelial in technique. In order to pull in the graft inside the eye requires uh, forceps um, in the endothelium in technique. We have designed these new 27 gauge uh, DMEC forceps that are precision uh, made to ensure that the DMEC graft is not damaged during insertion. The jaws are 27 gauge so they will fit through a incision size smaller than 0.1 millimeters and the high power picture of the jaws shows them to be non applicating and there's no serration on the jaw so when the DMAC graft is being pulled in uh, you will see that there is no damage uh, to the tissue itself so there's less risk of getting a tear in the tissue as i am holding onto the graft and pulling it inside the eye you'll see that the graft will spontaneously open with the endothelium position facing down in the correct orientation you can this can be aided by a little bit of tapping on the surface of the eye and then a a gas bubble uh, using a one mil syringe is placed into position itself. Forceps can grasp the tissue well and hold it into position uh, in over 150 cases that I have done with this pair of forceps. We've had no cases of where the tissue has been torn uh, with these uh, forceps. Another key advantage is, is that the incision size is quite small, less than 0.1 millimeter. So there's no need to suture your incision once the graft is in position. We use these forceps with a 23 gauge double port AC maintainer and this allows you to maintain the anterior chamber well without having any jets of fluid moving the DMEC graft inside the eye. 27 gauge forceps allows you to have fine control of the DMEC tissue so you know that there's minimal um, displacement of the graft and then it requires less manipulation of the graft tissue which we know is associated with endothelial cell loss uh, once the graft has been pulled in to the eye. 27 gauge forceps comes in two curvature sizes one a standard and one a severely more curved typically I will use a severely more curved for eyes that are more deep set.